shield without default risk? With Lightning Network, we can. This video is about how Lightning Network paves a path for Bitcoin to become a world reserve currency. Now, I want to quickly talk about this term, world reserve currency. I don't believe that Bitcoin is going to take over and replace all currencies over the next couple decades. In fact, I believe that the dollar and Bitcoin will coexist for many years to come. Why? Because countries won't relinquish the power to issue currency and they won't relinquish the ability to create independent fiscal and monetary policy. What does this mean? Governments won't be able to resist deficit financing and they also have to maintain the ability to make borrowing conditions easier for themselves and for their citizens. So for that reason, I don't believe the dollar is going anywhere. For those that desire an alternative to government currency, thankfully we have Bitcoin. Now, Lightning Network is a way to transact Bitcoin instantly. When you digitally sign a transaction, sending Bitcoin to a Lightning Network wallet, what you're doing is you are committing Bitcoin to an environment that you can now transact Bitcoin in an instant fashion. When you're sending that Bitcoin to the Lightning Network, there is no lender and there is no counterparty. You are simply opening a channel between your Bitcoin balance and the Lightning Network, which is an instant Bitcoin transaction platform. Now, using channels in the Lightning Network isn't free. There's a cost to that. And for that reason, Lightning Network operators that have sufficient capital and well-connected nodes are able to accrue and generate fees for routing Bitcoin via the Lightning Network. In this way, income can be generated from the Lightning Network without any counterparty risk, without any default risk. And I believe this to be the first example of this type of capital market activity in all of human history. Why is that the case? Because previously, in order to earn income, one has to send money to a counterparty and that counterparty will take risk with that money and then return it with a yield. In Lightning Network, when we dedicate Bitcoin to channels in the Lightning Network, we are not actually committing that money to a counterparty. Rather, we are committing that money to the Lightning Network and can withdraw that money at any time. Now, let's pause really quickly for a reference rate 101. What is a reference rate? A reference rate is an interest rate within an economy or within a financial system that other borrowers use to reference how much they should be paying to borrow money. So in the US dollar capital market, we use treasury yields as a reference rate. Why? Because the US government is considered the counterparty with the lowest amount of default risk. So if the public lends money to the US Treasury at 2.5% interest, we can expect that other participants in the capital market will have to pay a premium on their borrowing above 2.5%. So for example, a well-capitalized corporation might be paying 3% or half a percent above what the US Treasury is paying, and the average citizen might be paying 5 or 6% 3% above what the US Treasury borrows at. So what if we have a reference rate in Bitcoin that isn't derived from any one counterparty, no matter how credit worthy they are considered? What if we have a reference rate that is derived without default risk? In the Lightning Network, that's what we have. Now, I believe this will play out over many, many years. Let's do a quick recap of the timeline of Lightning Network. We had the Lightning Network paper come out and then the first iterations of the Lightning Network started in 2018. I wrote a paper called Time Value of Bitcoin in 2018, and I had an idea that we can use the Lightning Network to derive a reference rate for Bitcoin, and that would pave the way for Bitcoin to become this entire capital market. Well, the next year we had one of the largest exchanges in the world, Bitfinex, start their Lightning Network node, and fast forward a couple years, now we have over 4,000 Bitcoin dedicated to the Lightning Network. Now I realize that this is still a small number in dollar terms, only about $100 million today, 
but still the growth has been steady in Bitcoin terms and the trend is undeniable. Now, I personally have experienced this. The transactions that I do in Bitcoin, the hand-to-hand -hand transactions, selling copies of layered money, for example, most of them, the vast majority of them now are conducted in Lightning Network. This means to me that people with Bitcoin understand that Lightning Network is the preferred way to transact Bitcoin. This sets the table for a pure capital market reference layer without default risk. Now, some people think, won't this lead to centralization of Lightning Network in which the biggest players have the biggest nodes and they are able to generate all the income? Now, I do believe that large players that have capital dedicated to this network, that have well-positioned nodes networked to all the biggest players in the Lightning Network, will generate an outsized proportion of the Lightning Network fees available. However, there is no banking license required here to enter the Lightning Network. The barriers to entry to enter the Lightning Network are basically nothing. All you need is a laptop and some Bitcoin to dedicate to get started here. So while I do believe that bigger players will capture a huge portion of Lightning Network income, there is still the ability for anybody to participate in this network. Now, this ability to derive a reference rate without default risk really is unprecedented in human history. Think about the analogy that we've been talking about with layered money. So in this way, we are able to combine the slower moving Bitcoin, which is backed by its mining network, backed by all of this computational energy, with an instant transaction network but without credit in the way that Visa creates credit to use the dollar at an instant speed. Now, I believe this is incredibly important because when you buy Bitcoin, you're not just buying Bitcoin. You're buying Bitcoin that is enabled with the Lightning Network now. Every serious player in the Bitcoin industry is involved in Lightning Network because they all believe this is how we scale Bitcoin into an entire monetary and financial system without the use of alternative cryptocurrencies. Thanks for joining me today for this video about the Lightning Network. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and subscribe to us on Substack at thebitcoinlayer.com. I wanna thank my sponsors, Zebedee and Voltage. I'm really excited about partnering with Zebedee. They are building what I believe is a really important user experience for people that are onboarding to the Lightning Network. Now, Zebedee is a company focused on the gaming industry, so how does that fit in with Global Macro? Well, you guys know how much I believe in the Lightning Network, and I believe that what Zebedee is doing is it's introducing the Lightning Network to people in a way that makes them understand why instantly transacting Bitcoin is so important. So check out our Lightning address, the Bitcoin layer at zebedee.gg. Go download their new wallet, for a great first Lightning Network wallet and get your own Lightning Network address. I'm proud to have Voltage as the sponsor of my Substack. Voltage is powering businesses to be able to run their own nodes, both Bitcoin and Lightning Network. I'm really excited about working with Voltage because I believe they are powering some of the most important businesses in the Lightning Network ecosystem already. Go check them out.